Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. So today, we are going to have a, a special slot with one of the property manager from the district of Batu Pahai. So we as a student from real estate management, we think that this interview would be really beneficial to all real estate students because this interview will tell you about what really what is really the job of property manager what did they do and what are some of the challenges that they would do so we had applied um, to interview one of the property manager from Batu Pahat District and she agreed so let's go Hi Assalamualaikum Cik Hasna Hashima uh, I hope that our meeting today does not disturb you and thank you to agree to be interviewed by us. Uh, so, Cik Hasna Hashima, I've been informed that after this, you're going to have a meeting. So, we're going to go really fast, really um, straight to the point. So, the first question is, uh, can you tell us what does, the, what does the job that the property manager actually do? Like, what are the scope that the property manager need to manage about the building? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Insati, for inviting me. Uh, it will be an honor for me to explain to you guys, for you guys, about all main tasks that property usually do. So uh, I'm going to explain it quickly because I'm I am rushing to go somewhere. I am sorry, but it's okay. Uh, I will explain one by one. Okay. First of all, managing the maintenance of all concerns in the property, including minor repairs, electrical equipment, and also plumbing fixtures. Also, notifications of maintenance are received from the tenants themselves or from the public. Uh, the maintenance and repairs will be taken, but depending on the type of notifications received. The property manager is responsible for planning the maintenance of property which are carried out annually whether it involves planned or unplanned. For small maintenance, it will be carried out by its own staff, while for major maintenance, it will involve the appointment of external contractors to carry it out. The rental rate is said to be charged as rent for Bahai Municipal Council store and also market. The property manager has to present the paperwork of rental rates at the Musyarat Jawatan Kuasa Taksiran Majlis Perbandaran Batu Pahat. The tenant can check the latest rental rates on the website www.epbt.mpbp.my. Review the rental application report and fill out the scores to the approved tenants. The prospective tenants will be selected through the interview. Any new or vacant market stores or units will be advertised as vacant. stores or units will be advertised as vacant through the announcement on the Batu Pahat Municipal Council's website, the MPBP's Facebook, WhatsApp groups in the Batu Pahat district and posted vacant notice on the premise involved in the 30 days. Procedural application for stall and market rent. Order to ensure that the management work 
involved in the work procedures and processes is complied. The property manager will participate in the interview as one of the interviewers to the applicant. During the interview, the property manager cannot discriminate against a prospective tenant such as race, religion, and familiar status. However, the property manager is permitted to differentiate among tenants in the three following areas which are income and ability to rent, poor credit history, and history of violence or destructiveness. The decisions made by the interview panel will be tabled at the appraisal committee meeting for consideration and confirmed through the full meeting. Alright, Izati, for the fifth task that related with property manager is preparing and presenting the report of rental collection for wholesale markets and stores that belongs to the Batu Pahat Municipal Council at the Mushwarat, Jawatan Kuasa, Taksiran, Majlis Pemandaran Batu Pahat, Man the rent collection, property manager has to arrange and state up the expenses that they spend in immovable property belongs to MPVP, such as maintenance expenses, advertisement expenses and other expenses. For example, MPP has appointed several cleaning contractors each year for stalls cleaning work while public toilet facilities are maintained by small contractors appointed by JMB Menara MPVP by charging entry to the public toilets. Besides, the property manager has to list the problems they face and what strategies that can be used to solve it. For example, Batu Pahat Municipal Council suffered a shortage of funds due to the failure of the oil occupier of the parcel to settle maintenance charges. Only 10% of the maintenance bill have been paid even if a warning notice has been issued. Thus, the maintenance and cleaning work is done by JMB Menara and PBP staff. For technical work or major repairs, the appointment of an external contractor will be performed. The report will be verified at the Musharat Penuh Majlis Pembandaran Batu Pahat every month. The last task is managing the list of all immovable property of the MPVP. For example, public market, wholesale market, stalls and halls which is which are placed under the management of the department of the MPDP for rent. For example, property manager has to manage and monitor all the utility bills of the immovable property belongs to Batu Pahat Municipal Council such as water bills and electrical bills. Oh, okay, I understand about the jobs that property manager need to do. So if that was so easy to be a property manager or maybe there are some of other challenges that might um, harden the job for the property manager? Right, actually, working as a property manager is quite difficult because of many challenges and also obstacles that come every time we managing the property. Property manager needs to manage everything related to the stalls and the public markets that all belongs to MPBP. And the second challenge is I need to make sure that the tenant is not a fake one. I also need to make sure that all tenants are always renting with Batu Pahat Municipal Council. Okay, now I fully understand about um, what, how is being a property manager and what are some of the challenges that might be faced by the property manager. Okay. So actually, being a property manager is not about only managing the building. It's about managing your time, how you communicate with your staff and your tenants. And you also need to have a good um, education about a financial, which is accounting. So, Cik Hasna, thank you so much for today. And I hope this interview would be uh, beneficial to all of the real estate students. And that's all from me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks also to you for giving me... Uh, for
for trusting me in giving the explanation for this interview. I hope you can understand it clearly and helps you to do your work. So, to you make it next time.